Hello friends, good evening. I am Khairul Alam. I have completed Bachelor of Engineering from Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology, Kuwait. I also completed Master of Engineering from National University of Singapore with research on data mining. For the help of better group, uh, a group of programmers and developers, I, I am creating online video courses. I have HTML courses, CSS tutorial courses, and Java programming language tutorial. You see, in everyday use of internet, we need to fill up so many forms, contact forms, login forms, user registration forms. So how can we create this form using HTML? It is very important topic. Let's open VS Code, link the style sheet, take a form tag, form action, we'll see it while we'll create dynamic website. Form action means after submitting data, data or registration completion, the data will go to the back end or will display in some other page. Say for, I'd like to display it in home.html or home.js, JavaScript. So, inside form, first we need to give first name, last name, email address, password, phone number, date of birth, your photo so let's create a label for first name then input type text id F name, name, F name. This ID and name is not necessary for a static website, but it is necessary for dynamic website to call the data using JavaScript. So let's learn it. Let's create another level for last name. And input type text ID L name name. You can give value, I'll show it. You can give required whether this field is must or not. Now, let's see in the browser. See, this is coming as haphazard because we did not define it with deep tag. Deep tag is a block level element it will display the element as block so put it inside the deep tag give a break deep tag put this one also inside the deep tag now see see it is so beautiful i have style a little bit the form tag take the selector form merge in from the lips top and bottom 40 pixel 
and left right auto see that's why from the left side and right side equal space is created and top 40 pixel bottom is also 40 pixel width 400 pixel we can increase the width but it looks nice border 1 pixel solid light blue and padding 25 pixel padding means from inside it creates 25 pixel padding in four, four sides so copy it make it duplicate first name last name email address phone number email address password phone number photo date of birth so let's define it let me show you another one thing first name if you write the value or placeholder first name it will be prompt here that means since we have first name written we don't need it actually so delete it delete the value first name last name email address for email type you have to write email otherwise it will give it will take any text without email password let's do one thing password we have password password first name last name email password phone number phone phone number vivid number control d d phone d o b control d d date of birth date of birth type date Let's see how is it coming. See date of birth, it's given calendar. You can choose your date of birth. Another one DOB photo control D D photo photo type is 5 so that you can choose in your photo from your computer see choose file no file chosen now at this moment so we have completed form with all input type now we can use it here we can use radio button checkbox text area how to do that radio button level let's use deep tag level for gender gender input type radio ID radio 
these things you need while we will make dynamic website we will call this name id using javascript value mail right mail here duplicate it type radio radio okay i write zent i'm sorry control d then the value female and here right email see how is it looking see gender male you can choose or female you can choose use a be tag here this will give one line space we have used radio button now let's see how to use checkbox checkbox means you can choose multiple data div tag level for religion say for we have we may ask to submit our religion status religion input type check box id religion name religion value islam right here islam hello hindu Christian Christian Now see how it looks We can choose multiple This is the difference between radio button and sex box sex box in radio button from the option you can select only one but the checkbox from the option you can select more than one now we can user can ask writing mess messages so for that take a deep tag use the uh, line break level for message message text area no need to write input type text area name m a double s is messages id m a double s is messages column 30 row 10 it's okay good now text messages what we can do we can uh, use a submit button input type submit value equal to submit this value will show on the button 
we can use another button reset reset value clear now see if you submit something we can clear it say clear okay let's make some message where is message let's write b attack here then the message will come above see the message has come above now i hope you got to know how to make a html form and design it a little bit from css i have designed giving a beautiful box border and give some padding and make it center aligned we can align anywhere giving margin left margin right or margin top or foot etc now i can show you by putting some data chiral alarm email chiral password oh we have to put the same for one two three four five one two three four five date of birth say for this no date of birth no the top part we can write here 12 0 1975 1975 okay so the five my photo or is desktop image image you can show the file stable file name islam hello now submit you will see a problem see email field since we have used input type email we have to use email format that's the beauty of submit so it has if it is linked with the back end then it would be submitted to that database so thank you very much for watching this video i hope you understand very clearly how to make a form and submit it thank you very much for watching my channel Please subscribe my channel and continue watching. I will upload more and more important videos of Bootstrap, JavaScript, Tailwind CSS, React.js, Next.js, and Python programming language, Python Django framework, data science with Anaconda, Python Pandas, Python NumPy, neural networks, etc. I have so many experiences in last 23 years. I want to share it with my friends, with my future students. Thank you very much for watching my video.